morning and welcome to Frank's School. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be showing you how to build an off-grid tiny house. Uh, uh, I keep changing the name. If, for me, they're called faux cuts. But since faux cuts are not yet recognized online, I'm using uh, I'm using various other terms here. Uh, this is the second video of many because I'm going to take this through step by step. Uh, I'm going to take this through step by step to, to show you how you actually really can do this. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying purposely to avoid taxes, permits, and code. I, I mentioned them before. The only reason I'm doing that is because of the freedom. This, this style of building is so different uh, that, that uh, and I, I would be confronted with so many vested interests in those that, that are vested, uh, invested in the other kinds of building that it would be very hard to do. So by keeping it less than 100 square feet, I can avoid these things. Although it can't be built on a floodplain, and as I said, it's not supposed to be for human habitation. I'm using rough sawn lumber. Eight foot is the longest piece that I use. So uh, from the sawmill to the site, uh, uh, just about any pickup truck could haul that. With the tailgate down, you're allowed to have it two feet beyond the tailgate. If it's longer than that, you have to flag it. But anyway, the longest piece of lumber that you will need is eight foot. I use no glue, no mortar, no screws. Uh, a compressor is not necessary on the site. A generator is not necessary on the site. Uh, and because of these various things, these are very easy to dismantle. Uh, take as components elsewhere and put them up again. I say that I can build this. The one I'm building in the woods, I don't expect is going to cost me more than $200. Uh, I think $500 would be a more reasonable uh, idea. If, if you can get the pallets free, and pallets are going to the landfill all the time in this area, or being ground up for, for mulch, I, I've never bought a pallet yet. Uh, if you have to buy the pallets, the price I got from the pallet factory would take this cost of this up to about a thousand dollars, because pallets cost about eight dollars a piece, and then might be up to ten now. I don't know. Um, anyway, this but this includes a kitchen range. I put range in quote unquote. It's it's a place to cook, you know, with fire. It's a range, a heating system, uh, with a chimney, uh, not just a stovepipe with a chimney. Uh, uh, three built-in corner cupboards, <laughs> and a cold frame is the roof. I've called the roof a garden, a deep-soiled garden. It is, but it also is, is a, a cold frame, um, which how, as we build up, we'll get to that. There, there's three windows, you know, if you want them included. You don't have to go buy the window, and there's a Dutch door, which you would have to build. Uh, now, uh, zoning is an issue. Uh, you, uh, where you live, even at 100 square feet, you just might, you, many places you would not get away with doing this because of all the vested interests. So that's a problem. And the other thing to think about in the location is water. You're going to have to have a supply of water. Either you're going to cart it in, carry it in, or find a way to have it there on site. So you do need to think about your water supply. Now I'm going to erase, stop and do a second cut to give me a chance to draw by for just a moment. Okay, I'm ready to go on, I think. Uh, you've chosen a location, you've oriented it. Uh, the size, I can tell you, is going to be 8 foot by 12 foot 5, and now you'll find out about why it's 5 inches. You could call that 96 inches by 149 inches. Uh, that, that's, it'd be better to calculate in inches instead of including feet, because to convert it, this into metric, that would be a step in that direction. Also, if you want to calculate board feet, it's easier. So I'm going to try to do that whenever possible. The numbers are not going to be that high. Now it's time to make it square. You, you, you have to, you've located it, there's the spot that marks the center, but now, and you've oriented, but now you've got to make it square. You know it's 8 foot wide, it's 149 inches long. How to make it square. Uh, but before I go on to that, um, let, me, uh, let me explain why the five inches are there. Uh, these are the points of load. Those are the 12 that are critical. The ones in the middle I'll talk about probably tomorrow, I, I suppose. That inch and a quarter is right there. The inch is how is the bent that's going to go right up through the building. And the quarter is the tolerance. So we've got an inch and a quarter. Right here is a pallet the length of a pallet, 48. They're pretty standard. I'm not giving tolerance specific for, specifically for that. Right here is the next bent with its inch and a quarter. Right here is another pallet. Uh, 
48 long as you go up the wall. Um, here is uh, uh, this. This is the, the next bent with its tolerance. Here is the next pallet, and there is the final bent with its tolerance. And if you add that all up, it comes to uh, 149 inches. All right. Now the way you make it square, any carpenter is going to know this. Oh, I, I should say to the bents, they're they're one inch wide, going thick, going up through the whole building down the other side. But I'm not counting the cleats that go on their sides now and then because they don't they don't really affect that. There, there are cleats in many places as we go up through, uh, and I'll show you as we build about that. Now, any carpenter is going to know this that you've got your your rectangle square when this dimension is the same as that dimension. You'll need a tape measure that's, a, that's I think a 16 foot tape measure will do and you need another person. <laughs> you, it's, so, it's so awkward to do it with just one person but you need to adjust things until those are equal. Then you've got it square and that should be enough I, I think. Uh, oh and the tolerance of a quarter inch that I'm giving. Uh, that's not on the lengths of the cuts. That's on the thickness and the width of the various materials. All right, that's going to do for now. Bye.